All right, there you have it. Our 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump, addressing a crowd there at the Melbourne, uh, Orlando Melbourne Airport there in Florida. Uh, campaign style event, of course, as we all assumed, and it would be all the trimmings, all the fittings and the makings for uh, the speeches that he had given along uh, the campaign trail and throughout his campaign all the way to the White House. And now he's doing it again. And Jesse Burns, he is a reporter for The Kill, and he is on the phone with us right now. Jesse, the president uh, let off his remarks with one of his sharpest rebukes of the press to date. He called the media dishonest and said their agenda, our agenda, is not the people's agenda. What do you make of the president's continued war with the media? Well, he's definitely ratcheted up his rhetoric this week uh, in that uh, those statements today are really echoing what he said yesterday, trying to essentially pit uh, the news press uh, and the American people and uh, trying to draw a contrast there or a wedge to some extent. But does he uh, not understand a, that he needs the press to get his message out to his supporters? Well, this is, you know, the White House, even curiously today, was not uh, streaming this event. Of course, it was a campaign uh, rally, and so he's relying on uh, the news organizations, the mainstream media, as he calls it, to uh, to actually carry it, you know, his message. And so uh, at the same time, he realizes that, of course, uh, news organizations are going to cover him, and uh, he's putting them as something of a foil. This speech sounded a lot like a campaign stump speech, but he's a president now, not a candidate or a nominee. His audience, of course, extends beyond his supporters. We know that. We see that now. Uh, what's the strategy here? What do you make of it? Well, there has been some uh, criticism, of course, that he doesn't have a particular you know, policy uh, agenda that he's trying to uh, rally support for. These, the things that he talked about today are things that he's been talking about on the stump for months, uh, you know, repealing and replacing Obamacare, uh, pushing forward nominees to uh, really, you know, to, to change the direction of agencies like the EPA, which he talked about his uh, chief being confirmed this week. Um, so now he's starting to realize that, you know, things in Washington, of course, move slower uh, than, than uh, you can with just issuing executive orders. And so uh, this was an event for him to go out there and remind people, number one, uh, what he has already tried to do to date, but then, you know, to let them know that he's focused on uh, his campaign agenda that he campaigned on for months. And Jesse, as we take a look at these live pictures coming into our studios uh, here in New York, the president and the first lady, the first lady Melania Trump, who opened uh, the event with the Lord's Prayer. Uh, the president still claims that the White House is running smoothly. But of course, we paid attention to uh, a lot of stuff that happened this past week. And Senator John McCain, a Republican who said that the administration is in disarray. How are insiders grading the president's first days in office so far? Well, there has been, of course, a lot of turmoil. Uh, he had struggle uh, even this week trying to find a new national security advisor. Uh, we understand he's interviewing four candidates tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I think that uh, lawmakers on and off uh, on top of Capitol Hill, uh, especially the Republicans, are a bit weary right now. They're trying to uh, push his agenda, of course, uh, but they acknowledge uh, Mitch McConnell, the Senate leader, has even acknowledged that his tweets and his attacks on media and and certain businesses uh, can really complicate that and make it difficult for uh, for them to even push that agenda. And uh, Jesse, I, I guess when you look at the crowds, the large crowds here uh, just outside of Air Force One, uh, you can't help but think of the protests, the amount of large protests that have taken uh, part across the country and across the entire world. Uh, we are still divided. Do you think this is a way to sort of unify the country or just unify his supporters saying, hey, basically, you guys asked me to do this. I said I was going to do it. I'm going to keep my word with you. But now he is the president. So uh, you still beg the question, at what point will he start to unify this divided nation? Yeah, a lot of the speech today uh, was kind of red meat for his supporters, you know, going after the media. A lot of the criticism that he is facing, of course, that's playing out in the press uh, is, uh, is legitimate criticism that Republican lawmakers view is, was legitimate. And so uh, it's not so much something, of course, that media uh, is honed in on because they have their own agenda, but it's something that uh, even his allies are worried about, uh, you know, filling these security uh, positions and, you know, getting his other cabinet nominees confirmed, uh, despite the slowing uh, that he mentioned Democrats doing. And so, yeah, I think focusing on uh, some red meat for his supporters, that's going to be popular with supporters. Uh, but it's definitely, you know, it, it's not what's that, uh, needed, in a sense, 
uh, when it comes to you know reaching across to try to unite with uh, people that may disagree. And uh, Jesse, a couple of surprises uh, this past week. The National Security Advisor, uh, former uh, Michael Flynn, uh, his resignation, and then Admiral Harward, uh, who turned down the job. Can we expect to see more surprises going forward? Do you think this is just the beginning of this drama that continues to unfold, of course, with the past four uh, weeks of his presidency? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, this position, of course, is at the forefront right now. But there are a number of other positions that uh, still need to be filled, uh, you know, looking at the State Department, having uh, deputies in a lot of these uh, major agencies. It's difficult for them to kind of get off the ground and uh, really run full steam ahead uh, when they're confirmed if they don't have uh, the full staff. And so um, I think you're going to continue to see a focus on that at the same time. Uh, a lot has already happened in the first uh, three to four weeks of uh, this uh, administration, and uh, they're spending some time, you know, cleaning up uh, after what they've already tried to do. We saw that with the travel ban uh, and expecting a new, uh, more limited uh, in focus uh, version of that here in the, in the coming days. Uh, but yeah, I think this was an example of him trying to reassure uh, not only his supporters, uh, but reassure those that uh, might be reticent to, you know, working with this administration. Look, we're focused, we're moving ahead, uh, and uh, regardless of, you know, the slowdown so far, uh, we're focused on, uh, you know, pushing forward. All right, Jesse, a big uh, thank you to you, Jesse Burns, for your analysis and your time uh, with us as well. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.